right. Here we go. Excellent. All right. We are ready to fiesta. This is my 10th run. And in the stream today, I hope to uh, go ahead and finish this run out. Um, all we have left is the final descent. I am planning on taking on both Omega and Shinryu. I have uh, I have strats in place for both of them. What am I doing? Going to Mirage Village. I have strats in place for both of them, or strats planned for both Omega and Shinryu. As you can imagine, uh, with Mystic Knight, my plan for Omega is to uh, use Thundaga Sword and uh, just try my best to to keep up with his his counterattacks. I don't have a, a good way to stop him. Um, but with my chemist mixes, I can make um, at least you know a couple of characters invulnerable to the uh, to the big attack. So it might take a couple of attempts on Omega to uh, to get it to work. Make sure he's got smoke. I'm going to be running from all the uh, all the random battles here in the in the cleft till we get down to the bosses. I'm hoping not to do any more grinding. My levels are, I think, at good enough, uh, good enough spot, especially having chemists. Oops. Especially having chemists to, uh, boost my levels. Oops. I'm gonna update on the computer. Nope. Thank you. My settings went all wonky when I tried to fire up the stream before, so I had to restart my computer before I went live today. I'm also testing some uh, streaming without the wireless, or without a wire hookup, um, at a little bit lower frame rate. So I'm going to see what it looks like. It might not be as high quality as some of my other streams, but it's a lot more comfortable and it's a lot easier for me to set up a stream if I don't have to um, set up near the, near the modem with the hookup wire. And I'm also trying it without my... Uh, ice pack, so I turn the frame rate down and back to 20, to see how that goes without the ice pack. I'm hoping maybe the Neo X death battle will look better, um, without the, trying to run at 30 FPS with the Neo X death background flashing all over the place. <clears throat> I'm also going to try not to use as much of the fast forward button here on the stream to make it maybe a little more a little more entertaining if anyone tunes in. It's kind of an awkward time for streaming, 9 a.m. Ireland time, so that, that makes it 4 a.m. on the east coast of the U.S. And then, of course, uh, <clears throat> a little bit later as you get into Europe, so for the English-speaking world, this is uh, generally an inconvenient time for streaming. But this would be probably prime time for the uh, Eastern European, Russian, and Asian fans of the Fiesta, Final Fantasy V. I didn't want to do any more leveling with this party, although there's some fun things I could do with, with more leveling. I could really, uh, could really have a good time had I done more. But I think I've got enough, you know, I don't have, especially Mystic Knight takes a lot of, of, uh, AP to really get to those high levels that we need. So I, I'm, I only have, I, Ferris has access to the level 5 Mystic Knight, uh, so that'd be Flare and Holy. I didn't buy Osmos because I I never use it down here, and I, I spent it all I spent all my money on on items for the chemist. Speaking of, here's that Dragon Fang that I always grab. Always grab this Dragon Fang, but I never need it. Like I said, I have straps for. Um, You know what, maybe I can start um, charging my Wonder Rod 
here too. Um, charge my wonder rod while I'm running from these battles. Yeah, I could I could do that with these. And then uh, it'll roll back around to my ninja, who should be able to use smoke, yes, before the enemies act. So I'll do that. That way these random battles can count for something. I'm going to make sure I don't miss anything in this part. There's the enhancer sword, which I always want to put to good use. And then the, the Lilith Rod is down here, too. I think this is the en the Enhancer down here, which is the big one. They're silent. I better be careful. I, I think you Mini is also one down there. All right, that's the Enhancer, which finally is a step up for Mystic Knight. I mean, just finally. You don't... There's just, for, for Mystic Knight Swords, there is just junk. Lilith Rod, that's a good one. I like that one. Alright, so we're coming up to the first battle. Here with Kahlo. Stick the bone mail on her. Uh, but it should be... Should be fine. I'm gonna be using Flare. Well, you know what, I'll, I'll use Enhanced, um... My Magus Rod. I'm gonna use Enhanced... Faragas on on Kahlo. And that should be fine. Yeah. Oh, and I get a regular battle, random battle on that, huh? Oh, shoot, you know what? I should have used, uh, she used smoke because... I took the uh, I took the wonder rod off. Oops, black robe. Yes. All right. And this should be fine. Kalos, Kalos, usually no problem. Generally, no problem. And if you have somebody with the bone mail, you are uh, basically invincible to her. Because she'll use drain to respond to a lot of damage as her, uh, as her AI goes down. Oh, that's yucky. That makes me upset. Gotta remember not to use the heal staff on uh, on Kara. And geez, with this black mage, with her putting reflect on herself, that's yucky. But she might cast reflect on one of my characters in order to bounce buffs back to herself. So um, hope is not lost. I wish you'd throw Bio or or a Drain at the Mystic Knight. Come on now. Because those are all going to heal her. And that's right, I forgot the... Um, the Black Mage... Uh, rod things are reflected. Rod damage is, is reflected. So this is turning out to be just more of an inconvenient battle than anything else. Ah, oh, she blocked it. 
I I had to let her go ahead with it. Say, let her go ahead with that. I'm gonna go ahead and revive her just so she can get a little bit of that AP. Because we're getting close to the end here. Oh, man. Ugh. Getting bad luck with those with her uh, with her spells. She keeps hitting my weakest characters. And I don't want to. I don't want to waste my mix resources. There you go. I don't want to waste the mix resources on uh, on these earlier battles. Cool. A couple of Phoenix Downs it took, but I've got plenty. I got a screen cap. Because all these bosses just give nice big chunks of AP. Alright, Omega's coming up soon. So there's going to be a, a little bit of setup I'll have to do for Omega. But uh, I'm I'm very confident that with the party configuration we have, we should be able to, uh, to do it. And Shinri, Shinryu the same. With everybody having Image and Berserk, and I'll also be able, with the Chemist, I'll be able to cast Darkness on Shinryu. So Shin, Shin will be really easy when we get up there. Shin will be very easy. I don't know why I grab... I mean, I, especially like the Angel Ring, I almost never use the Angel Ring. Coral Ring... You can, you can use Coral Ring later if you plan to fight Shinryu without Berserk. You'll need Coral Ring to survive that first Tidal Wave that he does. Also, Twintania can do Tidal Wave, but... Alright. He only has level 4 spell blade. So I might do some experimenting with some of these early ones here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give him a reflect ring. Also, a Reflect Ring, Flame Shield, for her, not Bone Mail, and she won't need the Reflect Ring. And I should have done this part before. You know what, I'm, I just, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave her with that and mix for you as well. Not bone mail for you, um, and reflect ring for you. All right, I'm gonna heal and save. So my plan is to get uh, Dragon Kiss on the Mystic Knight as quickly as I can, um, so that so the Mystic Knight can survive. So I'm gonna do a few buffs before we actually go on the offensive, and just hope we can survive long enough to. Uh, a back attack on Omega. Look at that. Jeez. I'm just gonna reset. A back attack from Omega. What a joke. What a joke. A back attack from Omega. Come on now. Thank you. Okay. Sundogged Sword. Alright, so the Reflect Rings are helping me with that. And I'm just curious... I'm just interested to see what I can do with Sundara Sword. And actually, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna put a different... I'm gonna put Sasuke's in here. Even though it has the risk of, um... 
of run of trying to run with a chicken knife. I'm just I'm just experimenting here with this. Just want to test to see what I can do with this. Right, how much damage is she doing? Base damage. All right, um, and I want Dragon Fang and Maiden Kiss on her. So she'll be she'll be immune to all of the the crap now. Hmm. Having a hard time landing that one. And I've gotta stay uh I've gotta stay healed with everybody else, so every time it does Wave cannon or surge beam. I'm gonna have to uh, spend some turns healing. All right, there goes the black mage. I want to get one of these to hit so I can see what we're looking at. Okay, so that that was bad luck. That was bad news. I've got to get one of those, uh, one of those to hit. I know he's got some evasion, but uh, got to get one of those to land. Let's try her again. That this might be a, okay. That's not a random battle. Samson power, holy water and notes. I just want to see what kind of damage I can get. I wonder why I can't get those to I was the last in my last um my last playthrough I had much better luck getting those Thundagasaurs to land and I want I need to plan my battle based on how much I can do with the Thundagasaur. So for that I need to see what it looks like. They might also test out bouncing a flare off of one of our characters, too. And I, I think with the Twin Lance, I don't know if it'll even work. That's a good flamethrower on, on Kara. That's nice. Gotta get her up to the front. taken out of the battle. Yeah, these back attacks are going to be pretty gross. Because that dragon, the dragon's kiss will make um, any character immune to that circle attack. But I need to see what kind of damage I'm doing with, uh, with Thundaga Sword.
All right, here we get a preemptive, which is nice. That'll help me last a little bit longer. So I'm only doing about a thousand with flare, which is not great. Hiya, Matt. I'm uh, just doing some experimenting with Omega here. Uh, let's go ahead and get her Dragon Kiss. I had a plan for Omega, but it's not working out very well because my... Um... Sorry. Holy Water Antidotes. Because my... I'm not... I'm not getting my... Um... Thundaga Sword hit to land. So I have what I thought was a pretty good setup, but I'm just I'm gonna see if I can get anything to land. So I can I can get the ninja to land with uh, just the Thundara swords. But for some reason my Mystic Knight is not uh, able to land anything. So I'm gonna have to get yeah, see, she, those should be hitting for, for big damage. Um, I'm going to have to get him out of Confuse. And heal him up. Okay, alright, so it looks like my ninja might be the way to go for this one. Oh, she can mix. Phoenix down and Ether. Get him back up. And she, she's just going to be useless, I guess. I don't know why she's having so much trouble, but she certainly is. She's really struggling, but maybe I'll just I'll buff up my ninja. I guess that's the uh, that's going to be the plan of attack here. Going to have to get everybody over half, and I'll just have to do it with the ninja. And I'm going to have to get uh, Dragon's Kiss on the ninja here, too, so he can't get hit by Circle. Oh, and he ticked down. Okay. Oh, and we're stopped. So I might have to just, on my next battle, if I can't pull it out here. If I can't pull him out here on my next battle, I'll have to uh, give him that um, Dragon's Kiss to start. All right. Oh, I need, we need Dragon's Kiss first. I don't know, maybe I can pull this one out. I don't want to waste too many of my mixing ingredients on Omega, because I'd like to go on uh, from here. Oh, he must have tried to run with a chicken knife. <laughs> So I'll have to, on my next attempt, I'll have to try to change my setup. To do a little bit different setup. Yeah, Delta attack. Is that another attempted chicken knife run? I believe. Yeah, so I'm going to need a, just a different setup when we go back at this. Because I definitely know I can get him, and I'm I, I'm gonna get him today. But I want to make sure I can get another good double smack on him. Now oh, there's also that too. Because I need to get him down in just a few rounds before he gets into that part of his routine. Alright, let me look at my setup because if I can't get the Mystic Knight to land um, anything, that's going to be, that's really tough. If I can't get her to land a, uh, a spell.
that's going to be bad. But you know what? I may do this. Um, she has access to level 5 Spellblade. And he doesn't actually have Mix, but, um... At least I can help. I can help dump. He won't be using it, but there it is. If I can have him help uh, dumping items on the other characters, um, so she's set with Spellblade, and I don't know if I want to use a Chicken Knife. I want to guarantee hits on this, especially with Thundaga. She ought to be doing. Um, 9999 with it. She's got the Hermes Santa, so she's still okay about that. Does she have Nyx as her secondary, though? I'm gonna make that her secondary. Alright, so she should be set there. Um, so I've got two mixers and a, a lame duck chemist, so to speak. Whoops. Alright, let's try this setup. If a ninja is landing hits, and Mystic Knight's not, then, uh, we've got problems. So let's Dragon Kiss Ferris right away. And what is Haste Drink? I'm gonna have to be checking my mix chart, um, for a lot of these things. Turtle Shell and Eye Drop. That'll be my next one for Ferris. Oh, does she not have Thundaga? I thought she had access to Thundaga. Shoot. Turtle shell, I drop. Right? Yes. I drop. Turtle shell. Alright, let's see what kind of damage I can get with Ferris on this. Just three. That's too bad. That hurts too. Ouch. Son of a diddly. Son of a diddly. Yeah, Maelstrom, Maelstrom's gonna be almost instant death in uh, any of these characters, because once he uses Wave Cannon, he gets him into leak status, which seems to last a really long time. I guess I'm going to have to do this the solo chemist route. Um, that's a little bit more tedious, but uh, but that should that's all right. Next, so she's set there. Okay. Yes. So it's going to be a uh, solo Lena doing this one. So this is a setup I used before. It takes a little bit longer, and you only have one character alive at the end. Um, but it's something, it's something that you can get to work. You can do it. So she has black, mix, and reflect ring, right? Yep. Alright. So this can take a little bit longer, but I should, it should, it should work. All right. Let me see if I can remember all the things she needs. She'll need dra she'll need dragon kiss.
Lena will also need... Um, I guess she won't need resist fire, because she'll be reflecting all of that. She'll need float. Uh, 28. Antidote and Maiden's Kiss. You got the bone mail stuck on, huh? Alright, doesn't matter. Um, okay, the next thing she needs is... Uh, well, she'll need speed. Turtle shell and eye drop. So this is an almost foolproof way to, to beat Omega. Okay, so she's got speed, she's got reflect, she's got um, the life shield, she's got that. Okay, now she can start, we can start pumping up um, the Samson power. And that'll take out that chemist and that's okay. That's okay. Oh, whoops. I meant, I meant high potion. <laughs> I meant high potion. Alright. Ah, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need to do. Whoops. Nope. Come on. After he does search, he reflects search back to himself, and then the next thing he does will be directed on himself instead of uh, instead of the target. So now I just have to keep myself healed. I just have to keep myself healed while he does this and wait for him to do the search move. So the wave cannons are always going to hit me no matter what. They'll always hit me no matter what. But when he does search, it'll target back at himself. And his Samson power is, yeah, Holy Water Antidote. Oops, I want to mix. So on turns when he doesn't use Surge Beam, I'll, I'll buff myself up, or it's called Wave Cannon in this translation. I'll buff myself to, uh, to higher levels. But on turns when he does, uh, Oh, can't res can't do flamethrower. I thought flamethrower was reflectable, but I guess it's not. I guess I do need the resist fire on her. Shoot, I gotta reset that up. I thought that flamethrower was a uh, was reflectable. It is not. I need to have resist fire on her. Okay. I think I have the same setup here though as I did before. Alright, so I'll have to set that up again, but once you get it set up, it's almost foolproof to beat Omega. Dragon Fang, Maiden's Kiss. Alright, and what's Resist Fire is... Fourteen. Ether and eye drop. Ether and eye drop. Resist fire. So she's set. Okay, and then now the next one is going to be. I need levitate again. Antidote, maiden's kiss. Okay. 
Okay, so she's got resist fire, she's got dragon kiss, um, she needs haste. So that's turtle shell and eye drop. Eye drop. Turtle shell. Hasty aid, huh? Alright, and then now I can start uh, Samson power on her. Perfect! Look at that. So I'll get as many Samson powers on her as I can until my other characters are dead. But I'll try to keep them alive as long as I can. So whenever he does uh, the search move, I'm going to be there to uh, to nail him. Okay, yep, so, that Maelstrom is pretty much an instant kill, but if you've got the dragon power thing on, then you're fine. You're fine for it. So now I need to wait for him to do search, which he just did, so now I can do Thundaga, and I should do significantly more damage this time than uh, the last time, because I've bumped myself up quite a few more levels. There we go. 69. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself up. Probably don't really need to here, but now that I've got the setup, I don't want to screw it up again, because it takes so long to set up. The wave cannon, if you uh, if you aren't sure about that attack, it does half of your max hit points no matter what, and puts you in a, a fresh leak status. So it does half of your max hit points no matter what, and you're and it's fresh leak. So it does less to this character because she has lower hit points. So she actually takes less damage from it because she has such low total hit, total hit points. There's search, but I don't. I might still be muted from that stupid rainbow wind. Nope, I'm not. Perfect. So this will do significantly more damage than the last one. 79. And all of his counterattacks, I'm immune to. And he's targeting on himself anyway. Samson's Might, uh, if you're not familiar with the Chemist Mixes, that, um, ups your level by 10 for the, um, for the duration of the battle, and that doesn't cap out at 99, that caps out at 255, so... 
I might be more than level 99 right now, according to the game. I might be higher level than 99. I'm not sure. I haven't really been keeping track of how many, but you can max yourself out at 255. So I'm doing damage like a character that's much higher level than I am. And your level is used in calculating a lot of your spells. There we go. That helps. So I'm waiting for him to do search again, because that's the only thing that, uh... The only thing that I can really be hurt by is if he uses the Mustard Bomb counterattack. So that's the reason I have to wait until he does search, and it's reflected back at him, because he'll target the counter on himself. If he does his regular counters, I'm in no danger. But if he counters with Mustard Bomb, there's search. Perfect. So for the next turn, he'll target everything in himself, including his counterattack. Ooh, but I wonder if that, if that was what that was. I better play at safe. Um, something might have happened with my speed drink. Turtle shell and eye drops. Because it's not looking like I'm in haste. It's not, uh, looking like it. But he targeted that atomic ray on himself, um, at a bad time in the, in my speed routine. So I better wait. And he will heal himself with things like Atomic Ray. Speed that up so he gets his turn again. Because I guess my character is slow. I've got to be I gotta be careful about that because he can get a turn again and um, after he reflects the search on himself he can get a turn again and do something like that, bounce the Atomic Ray off of himself. So, so I was hoping this would be a shorter battle using um, Mystic Knights instead of having to do this this mix routine. But it shouldn't take too many more um, Thundagas from me, because I should be doing close to 10,000 now. Let's see how much this one does. Oh, 84. Okay, so I've still got a few more levels to go. Mustard, mustard Bomb helps, because that's the one that would... That would one-shot my character. That would one-shot me. So I've got a few more levels I can add on. That's good. Hiya, Hickory. Thanks for tuning in. This is, like, my eighth or ninth attempt at Omega. Um, and I finally got the setup working, so... Now I'm just, uh waiting for him to do his search on his routine. I'm just kind of slowly uh, piddling him down. Oops, not potion. Thank you for tuning in for this momentous occasion. Ha. Thank you. My, my hardware certainly hasn't improved, but I've just I've done a little bit more with it. I'm actually trying some new uh, stream settings, uh, and I'm trying it without being hooked up to the uh, to the to the wire. I'm trying it wireless, which I know a lot of people don't recommend, but it's a, it's a lot easier for me to stream if I don't have to go and set my laptop up with the um, with the hard wire. So I'm glad that it uh, that you think it looks better or it looks okay still, even though I'm using. Um, the wireless. Sorry, I have to really make sure I concentrate here with this battle, because if I if I screw something up, it could be bad news. One one missed heal after a wave cannon could uh could be the end of my of my attempt here. So I gotta make sure I'm really watching carefully. He's gotta go through his whole AI routine again to get back to search. And if I miss one of those, that could be the end of this fight. And it's I don't want it, I don't want that to happen because this fight takes a long time the way I'm doing it. But uh, at the levels that my characters are sitting, it's the only way I know how to to take them down when you have a chemist.
Because I'm, I'm basically invulnerable to all of his attacks right now. Except Wave Cannon and Mustard Bomb, which he uses as a counter sometimes. So I have to have him reflect the search off of me so that I know that he'll use Mustard Bomb or whatever counters he uses on himself. He's immune to most of his counters. Alright, there's Reflected Search. I can finally hit him again. So Hickory, you try Chrono Trigger from the, that Final Fantasy... What is it? Final Fantasy Collection? Is that what it's called? Not Anthology, but Final Fantasy Collection or something like that. It's hard to... I guess if you're running an emulator like your... I don't know which, what uh, PlayStation emulator you're running. But if it's really computer intensive, that could be that could be tough. Luckily, these 16-bit-ish games can arguable as to what um, GBA, how many bits GBA would be. But it's running a 16-bit-ish engine. Luckily, those emulators are pretty lightweight on your computer. Oh, it's Final Fantasy Chronicles. You know what? You're right. You're right. PSX 1.13, and then. You actually put a disc in there? Do I remember you actually put a, a PlayStation disc in your um, reader? You don't run it from a downloaded ISO? Do I remember that correctly? I guess we might as well chat about something while this battle goes on and on. Because <laughs> you could, Hickory, if you wanted to run the... Um, the Super NES, the Super NES version of Chrono Trigger is great, and it doesn't have those loading times. And the Super NES emulator would be a lot more lightweight on your um, processor. Because I'd love to watch you stream that. I would love to catch that. But I can, it's, it's hard for me when I'm watching... And I, I had the, the PlayStation Final Fantasy V um, collection. I didn't, I didn't have the PlayStation Chrono Trigger one. I played that on an emulator, on Super NES emulator. Um, but it's, it's hard for me to deal with those loading times even when I'm watching it. I know like if it's the only version you've played, you, the loading times is part of the game. But it's hard just to watch that. Yeah, there. I don't think they made any changes, but <laughs> the load the load times are significantly more. Uh, if I understand a little bit of how they programmed those, um, they just made it have to run like a Super NES emulator and the game at the same time from your PlayStation, and that really demanded a lot. So it meant a lot of uh, meant a lot of, of that loading. You played the DS version? That's good. I I don't I don't have a DS. I heard that that was a good one. I heard that that was good. I'm glad that that worked out for you because Chrono Trigger is a great game. So I'm glad to hear that you have at least have played it all the way through. I've never gotten all the endings. That's kind of someday I maybe I want to do something like that. Try to get all the endings on that. Oh, you're getting fiber optic. Excellent. We were supposed to have fiber optic here in Dublin when I signed up for it. Our building technically had it, but um, when they <laughs> when they came to set it up, they didn't find it. It wasn't there. So, yeah, it would be nice if we had fiber optic. I would like that. And if your if your computer is is meaty enough, you could uh, you could really have a nice high quality stream. We have fiber optic internet. Yeah, he's eating into my attacks by healing himself a little bit with the with those atomic rays and that, but um that's just part of the deal. I'd rather him use more of those 
neutral attacks that uh, don't really hurt me or him. Is this going to be the one? I don't know how many I've landed on him. I don't know how many Thundagas I've gotten to land. Oh, I wish you'd done that on me! Get some healing from that. Your provider messed up on your... on your install, huh? So you say less than four on average, do you mean, um, upload or download? Speeds on that. Must be download. So you can get four... Four on an upload, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's way more than I can get here in Dublin. <laughs> you can get four on the upload. Mine's less than one on the upload, I think. Pretty, pretty terrible. Oh, Omega, 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 you're driving me crazy. Four download, less than one upload. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. Come on, let's finish this baby off. Give me one more search. Alright. Is this gonna be the one? Let's see. There it is! Boom! Omega down! Finally! Jeez! 50,000! Omega, you take way too long. Omega, you take way too long. Alright, now I gotta not get in a, um, a back attack random battle on the way to the save point. Here we go. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. Now that I got Omega down, I'll be right back. Here we go. Oh man, that was a... Omega is always a stressful battle. Even when you're doing... Unless you're doing the quick leak. Then, then you just have to walk away and sit there. Alright. Um, look at my configuration here. What level of black magic? 
let's get her... Let's get her up in this mix. Yeah. Perfect. Alright. Twin lands. Oh, who's, someone's sitting on my chicken knife. You got it? Yeah, get that off there. I'm setting up to, uh, to set my Wonder Rod up for, um, uh, Shinryu when we get there. If you have to get your Wonder Rod set to Berserk, which takes a little while working through the, um, through the routine of it. And she has, she has smoke that's okay, so it should be okay. And then I'll be, I'll be fighting, um, is she way short on MP? Yeah, she is, but, uh, no. Okay, fine, I'll use a tent, not a cottage. Not another cottage. I should have done my job switching before I used the co Well, I guess you can't do it when they're all dead. So I don't want to waste... Waste routine. Job switching or, uh, equipment changing when their characters are dead. Which is lame, but... Okay. There we go. So the Wonder Wonder Rod cycles through all of the spells in order. So um, I have to get it set to Berserk. So it takes takes a little while, and I just I want to do that while I'm while I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Black Rose is what I always want for him. Go. Okay. And this guy's not too hard. If you have access to uh, high level fire magic, this guy's not too hard. Or if you've got. Ooh! Would have liked that chicken knife to hit before he got protect off. That's always. That's always tough. Would have liked for that chicken knife hit to go. But, I'll be able to get this to land before he gets shell on himself, because he's weak to fire. But now that he's got protect, it's gonna... my chicken knife's not gonna do nearly as much. That's okay. Well, I'd like to have him alive, I guess, because he needs the, uh... He needs the AP from this. He needs to learn mix. Got to get him to learn mix. Now I'm just gonna—I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, he won't survive that anyway, so... No worries, I guess. Ah! Chicken knife needs to stop missing. Uh, turtle shell... Drain kiss. Can you drain some right back from me? Come on, hit with that chicken knife.
There we go. Don't like this guy. He's got annoying evade. He's got an annoyingly high evade score. Which is unfortunate. I'll head back to the save point and get my guys healed up. So it's actually nice to have Omega dead so I don't have to try to do an Omega dodge going back this way. Which is very nice. The guy ended up being more trouble than, than I thought, but he'll be alright. I've got plans for every other boss that I'll face, including Shinryu, and then x Death should be not much of a problem. That fight should actually be rather entertaining, with chemists um, boosting everybody's levels way up. That should be rather entertaining. The Wonder Rod back on her. Cool. This is a tough area here because you fight a lot of tough guys like this. And you can get back attacks. Um, and they're very difficult battles to run from, but they are theoretically possible to run from, which means you can uh, use things like smoke or flee. To, uh, to get out of them easy. You get, an, you get an instant escape. As long as they're theoretically escapable, you get uh, an instant out from those kinds of battles. Cool. Just about done with this. This is, kind of, this is one of the most dangerous sections of this uh, of the whole final dungeon. Is this part right here with the, the ninjas and the dragon avis enemies? The castle here is actually a pretty good spot to uh, if you need to do some grinding for experience or money or anything. Outside of the iron giants, um, this is fine. Iron giants are the most dangerous enemy in here, and a back attack on the iron giant is about the worst luck you can get. A back attack from the Iron Giant and have him hit the character that he hit is about the worst luck you can get in that uh, in this section. So I've got a boss here, uh, Azul Magia is his name. He uses all the blue magic spells. Just gonna use some of these. I'm running so low on high potions. Bump him up here. I'm going to be casting Bio, so let me put my Poison Rod on. Gold Hairpin, yes. Alright, because Azul, Azul Magia is uh, susceptible to, whoops, he's weak to poison damage. So, I didn't check my levels, I guess he could L5 death me if he, uh, if he really wanted to. Decent damage with a chicken knife. So bio sword and bio spells do a pretty good chunk of damage to him. There we go. That's the best damage there, is the, is the sword. So now this just becomes a... almost a hold down the A button boss. 
because he's kind of slow with my guys with all the haste that they have on. I should be able to uh, to burn him down pretty quickly here, and then I get a save point where he was standing before the next boss I have to fight, which should which should be pretty easy. Um, catastrophe. If you have access to float, which I do, catastrophe is very easy. Yeah, and actually, I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. Let's levitate again. Antidote Maiden's Kiss. Because this guy does nothing if somebody is... Antidote Maiden's Kiss. If anybody is floating, all he'll cast is Gravity 100. That's all he will do is, is Gravity 100. So, we can just attack him with impunity and he'll never do anything but uh, Gravity 100, which just takes off float. So every time he does 100 Gs, I just cast Float again. And when his turn comes around again, he'll just cast 100 Gs again. Because normally at the levels that my characters are sitting, he's quite tough because one Earthshaker attack will take us all out, no matter, even with, with anything that we could buff up with, um, one Earthshaker would take us all out. And he doesn't have that many hit points. So it shouldn't take too long to take him out. Usually it's only two or three turns, because I can do a lot of damage to him, but if he does an Earthshaker, that'll take us all out. He must have skipped an action there, because he hasn't acted. There's a hundred G. Should be soon. Maybe this hit. Yep, alright. Pretty straightforward. So now I'll, uh, I'll head back and save. And then I've got two more bosses before we head to the final thing. I've got Halley Carnassus. Um, which I'll trigger. I'll trigger the little sequence with Halley Carnassus first. And I'll head back and save, because he gives you the kiss of death, according to, uh, according to her. I'll use one of the tents. Before Hallie. Okay, Hickory, thanks for tuning in. I hope to catch you later, too. I'll be watching for that Chrono Trigger Super NES stream. Come on, gotta have smoke on somebody. There we go. <laughs> All right, Hallie. Alley week two.
right, here we go, Hallie. Let's do it. Can we do anything as frogs? No, we can't. Gonna wait for him to cast Rivet. Alright, now we can go into attack mode. So we're basically in hold down A mode on this boss for a little while anyway. No, oh, nice damage. That's good damage. And then Twintania shouldn't be too bad. As long as I can stay healed from Twintania. Keep up on the healing. Once he switches to uh, Giga Player charging, I'll be able to get him right away without too much fuss. There's Hallie down. Oh, nice that it was still a frog. I forgot about that little quirk. Alright. I'm gonna save state, but I don't think I'll need it. Let me reset everything here. Uh, we've all got Hermes sandals. I wonder if I can do some Wonder Rod, uh, Wonder Rod charging while I'm fighting Twin Tania and waiting. That might be too risky, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oops, let's get her on break so she's ready. Should put image on more people, but I think that the spell blade stays after you die, but um, I could be wrong there. Mind blast, not so bad.
Oh, so he's got blink now. Alright, that's nice for him. And flash again, that's not too bad. Oh, that's why she has a she has the flame shield on still. One of these is, is going to be Izuna soon. Should have put the ice shield on my Mystic Knight. Yeah. Yeah, I better. Although if another ice storm comes, she's hosed again. There's Izuna, I think. Yeah. There's Izuna. Alright, power yourself up for Giga Flare. Is this gonna be Cure? Power yourself up, come on now. All right, powering up. Down he goes. All right, well, that wasn't too bad, and I got I got a good chunk of Wonder Wand charging done too. So that's nice. That's nice also. Alright, now I'm going to head back down and save. And maybe I'll get another Wonder, Ro Wonder Wand... ...hit or two off, so that I don't have to do any uh, down there. In fact, maybe I'll just do that on purpose. Oh, not with an Iron Giant. Not with an Iron Giant, I won't. In fact, let me go ahead and just reset that. That needed to be done. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Wonder Wand reset. Here we go. What is oh, she's got stupid crap on. That's too bad. Alright, there's Reflect. Okay, cool. So that's, that's it. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. I guess those guys wouldn't be, um... So susceptible to death spells, would they? They might also be immune to break, too. Are they? Yeah, they are. Too bad. That helps. Right, Wonder Wand is set for Shinryu. Smoke ready. I'm gonna try to steal uh, the. Yeah, breaks no good. I'm gonna try to steal the Genji stuff from Gilga. That's what I'm. But I'm not gonna try too hard to steal the Genji stuff from Gilga. Not gonna try all that hard.
But we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. Get the Thief Knight from Gilga. Or the um, Genji Shield and then later the Genji Armor after Necro. And I'm going to fight Shinryu before, um, before I fight X-Death. I'll go up and I'll get Necrophobe, I'll, I'll get the save point, then I'll go down and grab Shin. And then, uh, and then I'll head on to X-Death, which shouldn't be too bad, because I'll be able, during the first sequence, I'll be able to buff up all my levels to, uh, crazy, crazy level status. Good. All right. Here we go. Give it a shot. Couldn't steal that time. Genji Shield, obtain, cool. I didn't even need to cast that flare, but oh well. And the Genji Shield is great, uh, but I probably won't use it for Neo X Death. I, I'll probably use it for first X and then switch for Neo um, in case of Grand Cross. Yeah, I know. I know, Gilga. I know. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this.
too much chit chat from Gilga. Let's get to the end. I think my ninja still has smoke. Yes, and I want all these Pumas. I want all these Pumas. There's Shinryu there, but I'm gonna skip him for now. I, th I think maybe Shinryu might be a her. I don't know. I hear Shinryu as a her, as a female ancient dragon. That's how I picture Shinryu. Maybe it's because of the name. But whatever. Here we go. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Okay. She's got that. Oops. Uh, twin lance, chicken knife, mirage vest, hermit sandals. Alright, so she's fine the way she is. Um, as is she. Reflect ring. Okay. I'm gonna, in case I screw something up, I am gonna do a save state out here, but I, again, I don't think I'll need it. Don't think I'll need it. Gonna bounce brakes off of everybody. Oops, wrong target. Come on, get the right target. Alright, that's good. Alright, 50-50 shot. Nope, wrong target. Can we still do it maybe before, uh... 50-50 shot, wrong target again, come on, stop targeting Necro! Get that barrier. Oh, come on! Unfair, unfair, unfair. Yeah, she's got a reviver. Unfair, come on. And that's missed. Straight up miss. All right, but this sh this ought to do it. I'm gonna wait for her to take the turn. All right, cool. Okay. 
All right. That's a nice chunk of damage. You gotta give it to him. That's a nice chunk of damage right there. She has the enhancer. And she does... Yeah, not a lot with that, but it's decent chunk. Not a lot. Oh, she still has break on. Shoot. I gotta put something else on her. Yeah, you just keep doing what you're doing. So you're out of MP. Then you can stop doing what you're doing. Okay. Alright. Gilga's back. Time to get that armor. Because this one I actually I'll put on for the final battle if I can get it. This one I'll actually put on for the final battle. I'm going to throw the thief knife on my ninja. And this this always takes a long time, all this, this dialogue, you can't mash through it. It always takes a long time. He doesn't accidentally have the thief neck, does he? No. Come on, ninja. Get that turn. Thank you. Bug couldn't steal. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna hold down the speed up button for this part because it's always takes so long. Way too long. So you'll forgive me for speeding this up. There it is. Nice. Nice. Cool. Cool. 
done. And I got the Genji armor. So Genji shield and Genji armor required. I'll use those for the Shinryu battle and for the first part of the XS battle. So I'm gonna rest up here. I'll go take care of Shin quick. Uh, and I'll be getting a hundred um, points for Shin. Yes, I'll just leave my I'll leave my party where they are now. I'll be getting a hundred AP for Shin, so everyone should get um, a level up in what they are, and then I, I may refinagle some jobs before we go in. And I really don't think it matters all that much. Uh, I'm gonna put her with smoke just until we get down there to uh, to Shin, and I'll I'll reconfigure once we get back in front of Shin's chest. So, no problems. Oh, does she not have... Oh, geez, she doesn't have Hermes sandals on. Jeez. Come on, now. Oh, because it puts that on. Forgot about that. Well, I'm glad I did that, because here's another battle, and yeah, you don't want to mess around with these guys. Breathwing's not so bad. But you don't want to mess, mess around with these guys. Okay. Image. And Twin Lance, Chicken Knife. Mirage Best, Turn Sandal. Image. Image, she sets. Image, she sets. Alright, so I'm gonna do a save state just in case I messed up any of my setup, my Shinryu setup. And we have the Wonder Rod here. Cool. Image. 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 And Berserk. There we go. And that's all I really needed was, was Shinryu not to attack the Black Mage on that first, um, on that first round. Alright, and I'm, I'm switching to magic now. With, uh... So the character Flare Sword should be okay when it lands. So I guess he can't quite get to magic, so that's okay. So. Because we have... Ferris, the Black Mage. Taking care of business here. 27. Pretty good. Hope for the chicken knife to land. That's how this is gonna get good. Only when that chicken knife lands. 
Okay, this will take a while because Shin does have 50 some thousand hit points, so doing one and two and three per attack does take a little while. Nice block. Oh yeah, I don't even know. I don't. Uh, I don't even think I put on the Genji stuff from her. I think I just rushed down here. Try to catch the screenshot when I when I get him because it's, it's a really quick fade away. Shinryu has just a regular enemy fade away animation. I think I may have got I may have gotten the screenshot. There's my dragon seal. There's my Ragnarok. Nice. All right. All right. Just so I don't get in a nasty battle. Cool. There's Shinryu done. Shin down. So I'm gonna go trigger the uh, the final cutscene. Then I'll head back to the save point. Configure my party for uh, for the end game. And I think I'm gonna do this a little differently than I normally do. Um, I think I'm gonna use reflect ring going in instead of. Um, the Hermes sandals because I can get haste um, with a, with a chemist mix. I can get haste from that, and uh, I'd like to be able to use the magic lamp to take out the last piece. I find that that's a lot nicer. Is instead of trying to whittle down the uh, um, the the grand cross piece and the physical piece. Instead of trying to whittle them down evenly, it's a lot easier if you can just dump everything onto the Grand Cross piece, get that out of the way, dump everything, switch to dumping everything on the physical piece. And with my levels as high as they are, I shouldn't have to worry about too much for that. Uh, and then if I have Reflect on, then the back piece basically can't touch me. If I reflect on, that rear piece can do nothing to me, except it can cast a spell. But I think if you have Reflect Ring on, it, that can't do anything. It, it can take away your um, your haste, I guess, is the only thing it can, it can really do. So 
so when I get to uh, Neo, by the time I get to Neo, my characters will be majorly buffed. Um, and once the levels start going up, even White Hole won't be able to land on me. Even White Hole won't do anything to me once I get to my levels high enough. So... Phoenix Down and Dragon Fang gets me Dragon Armor. Phoenix Down and Dragon Fang. Phoenix Down, Dragon Fang. To get everybody into uh, Dragon Armor. Music, love this music. No speed up right now. This is it. Take your chance. All right, and we're gonna go back to the save point. And we could go ahead and go back out and gain a few levels if we wanted to, and yada yada yada. So I guess it doesn't really matter what class everyone is because they're all gonna be using Mix as their second ability. So I'll just keep everybody where they are now. Oops, no, she doesn't need Hermes. I need Reflector. Genji Shield, Genji Armor for sure. going to be my setup for uh, my first X-Death attempt, and it ought to be my only X-Death attempt, I guess. It really ought to be my only X-Death attempt. All right, here we go, mix. All right. So first, let's get the speed drinks on everybody. Turtle shell and eye drop. Down, Dragon Fang. 
dragon to them. Oh, not Dark Matter, Dragon Fang. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Phoenix down Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang. Phoenix down. Of course. Alright, I guess she needed it anyway. Alright, um... I wonder what I, I must have hit... I must have hit something wrong there. <laughs> Alright, Samson Power, Antidote, and Holy Water, right? Yeah, Antidote, Holy Water. I think he needs another speed shake. Major buffing. I haven't really been counting. I should have should have been counting how many of these I've cast, but See my damage going up between drain kisses. I can see the damage going up. That's good. That's good. Just see that damage going up. That's nice. 736.
we go. Alright, I need to go on the offensive sometime. Alright. This is the last round of buffs. Last round of buffs. Alright, now we're on the offensive. What's he doing from the back row? Not much on that, but let's see what she's up to. That's a nice chunk of damage. That's a nice chunk of damage. How we doing on this front? That's also a nice chunk of damage. There's Reflect Ring in action, which is nice, of course. Reflect Ring in action is always good. Oops. And what's she doing with that? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. So they're doing a lot more damage to excess than it can even do on itself. That it means their levels are insanely buffed. Nice. But I am just going to have him keep buffing himself up. And then I'll, I'll have him use Shadow Flares um, during the Neo battle. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do it. I know the void was yours, but it is no longer. It is no longer. And this should go pretty quickly. This Neo battle should go pretty easily. I'm gonna break sword, take out the Alma Jets piece. I've gotta use the magic lamp for Bahamut, and um, the other one maybe I'll have I'll have uh, Black Mage do that magic lamp on her first two turns. I'll concentrate everything on the Grand Cross piece. <laughs> 